what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back hope you guys have been enjoying the reactions so far as i'm coming off of this hiatus that i was on but anyways man um today we're going to be doing season three episode three and four so um hope you guys enjoy these reactions man last reaction got a little bit heated I'm not going to lie. I was very heated. I did not like what was happening to my friend Utrid. I did not like it at all, you know, and got a little upset. You know what I mean? I got a little upset, um, especially at Alfred, of course, um, because I know he wants to do things differently, but he's such, he so wants to be just that guy that's you know following the rules and whatever and the only time he breaks the rule it's for you know people who are extremely close to him blood relatives you know what i'm saying which is um i understand why you don't want to break the rules for somebody like utrid i get it but at the same time like you know as i said told you guys to put yourself in utrid's shoes for a second and just realize that yeah you know we're human, we make mistakes. But you've tried to make up for those mistakes by trying to stay loyal, trying to, you get what I'm saying, not betraying and doing other things. I mean, Uhtred has had so many chances to go against Alfred, and he didn't. You get what I'm saying? So many circumstances where he could have just went and just be it in, and now you've basically pushed him now into the arms of the Danes. So, um, I don't know how things are going to go because it seems like Finnan is not on board with the whole plan of going after Alfred now that um, Uhtred has, you know, basically pledged to be a Dane. Um, now with Breda and Ragnar, you know what I'm saying? Like, things are not, you know, there's a conflict here that's brewing in the background you know, also with Aethelwald. Aethelwald is, he's a wild card in the story. He's a wild card. I can't stand him, but at the same time, he is a wild card because you don't know what he's trying to do versus what he's going to do. Now he's trying to form an alliance with some other people who try to take out Alfred, create all of this stuff, um, you know, with the enemy. Just because he wants to be king, if he like he's been, nobody would have chosen you. If you were behaving right, there is no way that your father would have chosen Alfred to be king. But because you are a dumbass and all you want to do is just go whoring and drinking and doing all of this stuff to yourself, why would your father choose you to be king? You know what I'm saying? And instead of taking accountability for your actions and realize, oh, you got to earn the crown, you know, he's, you know what I'm saying? Now he's saying, oh, he stole it from me, blah, blah, blah. Nah, bro. He didn't steal anything from you. You put yourself in the position to not be king material, if you want to call it that. But anyways, guys, let's jump into these reactions and I will see you guys for the review. all right what's going on guys yeah so that just happened i in a million years i didn't think i thought probably there was going to be a last minute interruption where somebody comes in and save ragnar shit bruh god damn i didn't expect that at all i mean canute you set up your own cousin, my guy. Damn. And it's the same thing that Uhtred was saying to them. It just as a callback from, I think it was the last episode. Or it could have been this episode. I don't remember which episode it was. But basically, um, you know, with Uhtred telling them, like, we got you got to be one army. And there's too much people here with, in, with, with you know, indifferences that you know, wants to lead. It has to be one leader. Um, 
Boy, let me tell you, man. I don't even know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. At this point, it's like... <laughs> Uhtred choosing Ethelflaed over Skade. I'm all for that. I don't want to see him with Skade at, at a little bit at first. You know, I saw the benefits of him being with, with Skade because... With her, at least you know your life is not in trouble. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it's a little weird. <laughs> the relationship, how it developed. But there was foreshadowing of it. And that's why I said, like, it's a little bit confusing. But if that's the direction they're going, then I'm fine with it. With, you know, with Uhtred and Ethelflaed. Like, I'm fine with it. L you guys said that Ethelflaed is going to become a... um probably going to become one of my favorite characters so i'm looking forward to that but i gotta see it happen you get what i'm saying so you guys have told me that they didn't cast her age um correctly in season one or two i don't remember exactly so that was a mistake and they casted her right in season two i think so so yeah i'm looking forward to see where that situation goes i've talked enough during the episode but i still want to touch on some other some other things like edward coming around he was forced to to come around and let's see if this storyline goes somewhere useful because maybe edward is planning to be a different kind of king and he's like you know what fuck it you're, you're trying to force me to do this okay you gonna die so we can i can do it my way let's see if that's where it goes um or someplace else. maybe he'll bring his kids back in to you know what i'm saying like to him or whatever the situation i don't know what they're doing with his kids obviously they're gonna turn his you know the, the baby moms into a um into a nun um yo my my girl that um the abbess she 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 went out like a g right she went out like a g man i respected how she went out I didn't expect them to, to kill her, but at the same, it, it was so unnecessary to do that through the spear. It was, it, it was just absolutely unnecessary for him to do that. That's, I mean, even Esten had to say, dude, you could have just walked up and just grabbed the axe or what was she going to do? She's not a fighter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you didn't have to kill her. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, in turn, they had to attack whatever, whatever. Um, so Uhtred swapped out like gave up skate for to save ethel fled um so we're gonna see how that how everything plays out um we'll see how that this is episode four um so i really do appreciate um how things are going man you know what i'm saying um this this story is really well done it's really well thought out and i mean the way out here executing the show man is just amazing you know what i'm saying like it's awesome it's it's wholesome it gets you in your feelings whether you're angry whether you're sad whether you're you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying and the actors are doing in an incredible job of bringing this story to life so it's like i'm just like for 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 certain reasons for certain things i am going to pause and sometimes it's going to be long sometimes it's going to be short i just happened to go off I, I don't even know i think i was talking for like five or like maybe even seven minutes um for um for that sync that um pause you know and then i paused for another two minutes so it was a long time it was a long time and I hope you guys didn't mind too much. You know what I'm saying? That was a little bit going a little bit overboard to explain my point. But I needed to explain that point because I wanted you guys to understand what I mean when somebody is a slave to something and they don't think for themselves. It's it's more of like they, they look um, with with um, with Alfred looking at the crown the way how he does. It makes it seem like the crown is the one that rules the thing rules. You get what I'm saying? And you're the one wearing it. You can make decisions that are better. You can look at your son and be like, okay, you made this bed. You can lie in it. You get what I'm saying? But to force someone to do something 
that they don't want to do. I'm never in agreement with that, no matter what. You get what I'm saying? No matter what, even if it's my own child, I will never force my child to do something they don't want to do. If they're old enough, if they're young, well, you got to teach your kids, you know, that this is right, this is wrong, right? But if it's something like say, okay, um, we need a doctor in the family, so you have to become that doctor, right? So you have to become that doctor. Um, we need a lawyer in the family, so you have to become that lawyer. I'm not for that. Whatever the kid wants to do, let them go down that road and make the mistake. Because you cannot look at them and be like, okay, you know, they might say, you know what, I want to become a movie star. And be like, no, they're too, they're too wild and so I don't like celebrities. And you're going to tell them all the things that are wrong with becoming a movie star. How do you know that they're going to be that type, that type of movie star that is out there, putting all their business out there and all that stuff? You don't know. There are movie stars out there that are very... Um, you know, they're not for the spotlight outside of the movies. They're not for that. They're not, they, they might show up on red carpets. They might not. There's so many movie stars out there that you don't really know anything about how they move. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you do have those that are just out there. You know, everything about them, every little scandal, they're a part of every thing, right? So you can't discourage your kids from doing things that they want to do. Right. He made that bed. He slept with that woman. And, you know, then you turn around and call the woman a whore and all of this other stuff, like just because she slept with someone. And the thing about it, the thing about it, too, that that grinds my gears so much when it comes to Alfred is like, nigga, you was cheating on your wife. You have a bastard son out there and you are here now talking down to your son. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just, he's such a disappointment in, in so many things that he does. And it, and, it, and it's just like, and it, he's making all these decisions based on a freaking piece of iron that he's wearing on his head. <sighs> he's conflicted. Uhtred is conflicted. You know what I'm saying? It's just those two characters, man. They're so torn between decisions that they make. Uhtred more on the, on the side of, you know, he, he kind of have to suck it up because, you know, the reason why he's in this position is because of everything that's been happening basically since he's baptized, right? So it's, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So it's like, he's just got to suck it up and take it. It's like, okay, you don't want to roll with me no more. Hey man, I'm, you're always going to be my brother. Even though you're telling me you're not my, my brother, how is he going to feel now when he hears that Ragnar is dead? Killed by freaking Ethelwald and nobody knows. Nobody's going to know that's Ethelwald except freaking Canute. Canute is the only one that knows that Ethelwald. Who's who's to say that Canute is not going to out Ethelwald, let him get killed, and then he takes over? And I don't even know what's going to happen. I don't want to speculate on anything or anything of the sort. You know what I'm saying? I just know that this story is literally fire right now. So thank you guys right um, for tuning in as always, man. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment on the video, and subscribe if you're new. There's more Last Kingdom to come. Um, thank you guys, man. It's been real. Peace.